Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last few videos, we learned mapping load, apply map and map using. In today's video, we will continue the same topic and we will learn how to do nested apply map. I will quickly show you the database which I am going to use. We have order table where we have order ID, customer, product ID, quantity, price and gross sales. Gross sales means quantity multiplied by price. This order table is connected with, associated with product table by the product ID. In a product table, we have product ID, product name, category ID and product discount. This product table is associated with category table by the category ID field. So here you can see the category ID is common between both the tables. And in a category table, we have category ID, category name and category discount. Category ID is primary key in category table and product ID is primary key in product table. So we have discount by product and for few products the discount is missing. But at the same time we have discount by category also. So what we need to do here is we need to find out discount for each line here. Our criteria is first we need to consider the discount on product level and if the product level discount is missing then we need to find out the discount based on category level. First of all I will show you the data model. I have already loaded customer table, category table, product table and order table. Because the data is coming from excel file and the category discount and product discount is having blank value I have make them null by finding out the length of the field value. Now our objective is to get the category discount and product discount inside this order table. So first of all the easiest way is we will do the mapping load of product discount and I will say mapping load product ID and product discount resident of my product table and here I will use where not is null product discount because I will try to get the product discount only when the discount is not null and wherever the discount is null we will consider the discount of category. So here I have to write the same I will say map category discount and I will say mapping load category ID and category discount resident of my category where not is null category discount. So first of all I will try to get product discount here. So I will say apply map and the table name is my first parameter so which is my product discount and the field which I am going to map is product id and if the product discount is missing then I will say null as my product discount. I will reload this application and we will go to the front end and I have already created one table at the front end. So what I will do here is I will add the latest field which we have created and that is our product underscore discount. So you can see here we are getting discount for all the products. Oh, I will sort this one by product so we can easily match it with our excel file. So for product 1 it is 23%, so product 1 it is 23%, product 2 it is 18% and so on. The same way we have to get category discount here. But to get the category discount we need to first get the category ID here. So category ID I can get it from this table, I can say map product category mapping load product id category id resident of my product table and I will get the category id here now. So my first parameter is my table name and then my product id and then it is null as product category. So now I will try to get the product category. I will add this product category at the front end. So now we are getting the product category. 
So the next step is we already have category table here and we have created category discount based on the category table. So this one I have to map inside my order table. So if I will try to implement something like this apply map and my category discount I need category ID. I need my category ID here. So I don't have category ID actually. So category ID I am getting at line number 43. So to get this category discount, I will do preceding load here and I will say load star and then my category discount and our category ID here is product category. I will write even product category ID here. So I should get now category discount. So at the front end because I have changed the product category to product category ID, I will now add my category discount here. So now we have product discount, we have category discount. So wherever product discount is there, another preceding load, wherever product discount is there. So if product discount is there, so I will say if not is null product discount then I have to use product discount otherwise I have to use category discount as my final discount and now I will load this one and will get the final discount here so now we have final discount so wherever we have product discount, we are getting product discount and wherever product discount is missing, we have category discount. But there are products like product number 13. I don't have product discount, I don't have category discount. So in that case, I have to make it zero. So I will keep the third parameter null in product discount, but in, in category discount, I will make it zero. So it should now convert to zero for all this null discount. And now using another preceding load, I will say load star and I will say quantity multiply by price multiply by one minus discount as my net sales. So now I should get my net sales and I will add some of net sales here and my total final price is and my final amount as net sales is 83,070.50. This is how we can get product discount and category discount. But we have used many preceding load here. But instead of that, we can use nested apply map and we can simplify our script. So how to do that one? I will I will break this apply map something like that and I will say so this is my first mapping load. Uh, let me write down something here. So there are three types of apply map here. So the first one is the product discount. The second one is the product category. And the third one is category discount. So here map product discount is the first one. So this one is this line is actually my first parameter of first apply map. Now this one is my second parameter. Now when I am not able to get any product discount, I need to replace it with, replace this one with my category discount. So the category discount is something like this. So I have to replace this with my category discount. So I will further break this 
mapping load and I will say my mapping load is now something like this. So this one is my actually my third third parameter of my first apply map. This one is also the same and this one is also the same because they are all the part of my third parameter of first mapping load. But this one is also now my second apply map with my first parameter. This one is my second parameter for the second apply map and this one is my third parameter for the second apply map. But say this product category ID is still not here. This pro product category ID we are finding using this apply map. So I have to replace now this category ID with another apply map and I will break down this one as something like this. So now this apply map is the third parameter of my first apply map. And I can say something, this apply map is actually 3.1, 3.2 and 3.3. And this is my product discount. So now I can directly write down something like this. And I will say product discount. Instead of writing many preceding load, I have now converted to single preceding load and now I will load this application and will see the total net sales which is the same 83,070.50. We can also remove this one and we can say something like here this multiply by 1 minus this as need sales and I even don't need preceding load here and even I don't need this category ID so in a simple term now in a single line I have get the need sales and I will remove this to invalid dimension and we are getting the same net sales so hope you understand now how to use nested apply map in this application we have used three apply map in a single line thanks and have a great day